Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel, Bo Biddle. But oh, ho, ho. Ben Barber, dude, he's here, folks. We will stop for a nice round of laughter and clapping. Thank you so much for joining us, Bo Biddle. The folks miss you. They come. I miss, I miss you guys. I see it in all the comments. I promise. I, I miss you too. <laughs> it's good to be back. It is, dude. We're glad to have you back. Uh, we sh since you are visually here, we might as well show the Nashville Cars and Coffee Gear. We have an online store now, folks. It is linked in the description. So please, if you're interested in our gear, go to the online store. That's not one of the hoodies that you can get because no, it's super it's special not. for us. I really should have zipped up the hoodie. Oh, like that's right. It has it. the hoodie that attaches to it. Yeah, man. But, I did not prepare for this, Ben. I did not realize it was going to be well, so cold. I know, right? It, it is winter crap. all of a sudden here in the middle of Tennessee area. Uh, let's talk about where we are. We're right here up here at our friends at Direct Auto of Tennessee. That is them up over there. Uh, and we're just on the other side of the lot. And what do we have here today, Bo? What do we, what do we got? Barber, we have 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee SR. T. SRT did for one those of, one of our favorites. Yes, and we, for those that are not in the know, the SRT has the 392 Hemi. Hemi in it, good for over 400 horsepower, 400, almost 500. 475 horsepowers and, and it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, right? and uh, I forget how many torques it has. It's but in and around there, 400. Maybe it's in the 300. Y'all can correct I, us. Throw it in I the comments below if you know what I think the. It's uh, up there, 400 plus. But it's fun. It's it's one of those rides that we love to check out when we get the opportunity to. It's loud. Yeah, and it's loud. I think this one's got a couple mods. We'll find out once we get under the hood and get it started. Yeah, we, we just grabbed this thing, and so we're not really sure. Uh, but we think there could be some kind of aftermarket. There could be some hijinks on here for sure, we think. But we're going to start where we normally start, which is in the rear of the vehicle. This man's got the key, and I think yep. it's got the auto start. We'll it get does. to that here in a second, but we want to open this rear hatch first. All right. It's been so a while since we've checked one of these out, Ben. I almost forget uh, what they're like on the inside here. Fair amount of room. And now that I've checked out the new Grand Wagoneers or the new Wagoneers and or the old one that he has, this is something that's carried through for years, I guess. This look. Oh, what? Okay, that's for the extra wheel. That's not there. And or for a child. That's huge. It, yeah. There's enough room in there for you to climb in there. I, I could probably <laughs> fetal position and get in there. <laughs> Smuggle me across the border. <laughs> it's smuggling time, yeah. folks. Uh, All we right. Got, we got the subwoofer. Looks like we got, I notice these things more and more like the little hooky hanging bobbers here. I guess maybe the. For like the single grocery bag or something of that nature. Another thing, a bobber. All right. We got the push button. What is now, that? Now, you know, that's a good question, Ben. What is, it says push. That's a flashlight, dude. What? Yeah, look at the other end of it. Other end. There you go. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Ooh. And it works too. Yeah, let's blind the folks. Fancy. That's, kinda, that's cool that it plugs right in there. I'm sure okay. it's powered by that too. All okay. Right. That's well, the first that's time we've a, seen that. I haven't noticed that. All right, you got the 60, well, that's yeah, 60, 40. 60, 40 yeah. Seat split. Now, these a bunch of space in here. Like and it does have Alcantara. the pano roof up there. They made these things so nice. Definitely one of the nicer spec Jeeps that you could get, you the know, SRT. How are they aging, Ben? Well, this is one, this one's old, right? I mean, a, I mean, it's a 16. So that's five years old now. Still pretty clean in there. Yeah, you gotta remember the button is inside of there instead of uh, on the door, which here-ish, which is where it normally is. Uh, uh, this one looks like it has some extra badging here. Yeah, they threw that 392 Hemi on there. They want to make sure you did not forget. Yeah. Well, uh, when you start this thing up, you will not forget. They <laughs> they will be familiar. Well, let's do it. So you press the, you got to lock, lock it, it and then press it twice, I think. Isn't that what it says? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> it sounds good, dude. I don't know if it's stuck. I remember them being kind of loud, but that looks like an aftermarket exhaust pipe. Want to get in there? Get in there and get some revs for us. Well, do we, we're gonna have to stop it and probably shut it off, turn it on again. Well, he climbs in there. 
I still love the look of these. I know they're changing them the next year or two, but it's got a really cool. <laughs> That's what happens when the start stop scenario uh, or the auto start if you don't do it right and kill itself. Jeez. That sounds. Sounds pretty menacing, Bo Biddle. Sounds very menacing. It sounds very menacing from in here, also. A <laughs> uh, little drony, so I ha can, there's no way it's a stock exhaust, right? Is that our, our guess is here? I'd, Maybe cat back? I know it's been a while since I've been in one of these, but yeah, I kind of feel like there's probably something going on back there. <laughs> uh, before I climb in here, we're going to show the door cards. Nice little carbon bit uh, with this piece of aluminum trim or whatever chrome trim. Uh, this is plastic. This feels like a faux suede and this feels like leather. Nice stitching here, place for your cup holder. Man, really nice and soft. Uh, so kind of make our way in here. You can see that the seats actually recline. You can see those are reclined back. This one is not reclined back at the moment. And then you've got your cup holders, which are at a proper, proper height, uh, armrest, I guess, a proper height. Uh, once you kind of climb in here, you'll see I can get rid of all those crazy sunlights. There's all your uh, buttons. It does have heated rear seats, but what do you think about that? Really? I did not know that. Uh, AC and heat uh, available back here as well. Um, man, if I can have you hold this for a moment, I'm going to move this seat up. You can yeah. talk about the ergonomics up there if you want. Yeah, here we go. Uh, here, this is a 16. This is a few years old, but uh, even uh, then and by today's standards, it's still pretty nice. Nice steering wheel. Got your paddles up here, and then just below the paddles, there's buttons that control some of the, the media. Um, you do have your driver aids here, your cruise control, and uh, you can set the distance that you want from the vehicle in front of you. Um, other than that, it's pretty kind of basic. We do have a little carbon fiber uh, trim on the doors. I think Ben may have pointed that out already. Uh, one thing I've always appreciated about uh, the Jeep, you know, is the uh, media center that they have here has always been very user-friendly, easy to navigate. Um, and I think, I'm sure they've probably gone through an update at this point, but it's it's been... Still crazy functional considering yeah. it's five or six years old. A lot of the cars that are developed now are, were kind of aiming for these guys uh, and they have updated, but it's still, like you said, crazy functionality. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but underneath there is a bunch of little power jacks. Yeah, as you can see in there, USB, Type-C, uh, cup holders that my phone's in, and then we're probably all used to seeing these kinds of dials for uh, driving uh, modes now, auto, sport, track, snow, and then hit the SRT button, and that should bring up your pages, uh, so then you can um, cycle through, go to sport, and then get your track modes. And it's fully customizable as well, so you can go in and set uh, all the little specifics and uh, get pretty granular with it if you'd like. Well, and one of the things I just noticed is when you switch the track, the exhaust note didn't deepen, usually it does, so that kind of gives us a for sure that this has an aftermarket exhaust, at least from the cat back, because um, it didn't change note. But Yeah, I think you're right, because I did notice there was no increase decrease in volume usually there is folks uh, if you have a stock one you can attest you see you've got a big giant pano here yeah, and um, it goes all the way back to me too yeah. like it's it's really nice like if i'm looking up i'm looking out this straight out that there is no ceiling for me to be stuck looking at which is kind of nice always like the alcantara headliners and then you've got them on the a b and uh maybe not the d filler c fillers but. yeah this one, no, this no, is hard plastic, hard plastic back here too. But, yeah, right. but anyway, I, you know, like this is a 16. You've probably, you may have seen uh, these by now, but uh, it's been a while for us. And uh, I realized, Ben, that I still like it. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, like, they still hold up really well. If I see this key back, these things are still holding up really well. I mean, I'm going to hop out here and show this front seat. So do you mind popping that hood? Yeah, let's and I do will, it. I guess, shut her down as well. One of the things I really like is there's 
always a little bit extra room here uh, for, for all the funds. Uh, plenty of room for a cup and or random storage, cell phone and or cell phone here. I like the look of this handle and this kind of embezzling around, it's really nice. Uh, SRT on the seat, really kind of cool stitched item. Really, like Bo was saying, it's nothing over the top compared to today's standards, but like super functional, which is really all you really want out of your interior. I uh, also like this little option, just press that to get in, kind of keyless entry scenario. Well, Bo Biddle did a good job of not hitting this curb over here. There she is. So, we does clearly have a K&N air intake on it. Which... Uh might yeah there's, if that's, so, uh, they I got that there, there's a good chance there's probably some kind of uh exhaust, exhaust and maybe even there. a tune uh this is the stock mass airflow sensor as i've looked at them somewhat recently um uh, i do like this little built-in that they've taken and kind of forced to get the cold air so nice uh nice old six four hemi in there oh look functional there too as well hey Mopar, no car, brother. <laughs> he has turned, we have kind of turned into Mopar folks uh, somewhat as of late. Um, and I really like the headlights. I'm not, can you click the lock button or something oh. like that to get the lights to... Uh, well, Ben. He left the key, folks. I left the key. He's going to get it. We're just glad he didn't mess the hood up when he closed it. So I like like even just the blinkers and the surround there. It's flashing right now, but that stays on while driving. Uh, daytime running light. Very aggressive front end. That's one thing I like uh, about these Grand Cherokees. They have a very menacing look about them. For sure. I mean, and then when you see this guy coming up in your rear view, it's kind of one of those things. You move over, and if you don't, he passes aggressively. <laughs> it may scare you because it's so loud, but. Well, cool. Another a legit ride. Again, we're up here at Direct Auto of Tennessee. That's their building there in the back. Their info is on the bottom of the screen. If you're interested in one of these vehicles or something similar, he's pretty flush inside with Porsches. And we just yeah. looked at, what a is that? A GT3 RSs. A so six-figure K5 Blazer that's in yeah. there. With like, what, 10, 15,000 original miles? Yeah, I hope that we can uh, bring that to you guys. Soon. Soon. Yeah. But it could be one of those that is gone just as soon as it gets here. It's right. really cool. Really cool car, and again, their info is on the bottom of the screen. Hit them up, and I guess from my man, Bo Biddle, I am Ben Barber. We'll see you guys in the next video.